This is Mrs. P. She's a second grade teacher in Ontario, Canada. She's also my mom. The school year started out like any other. Things were great. Mrs. P was doing what she does best. Until March break hit and schools across Canada were shut down. So Mrs. P had to adapt and fast. Now she's always been great at a lot of things, but technology isn't one of them. It was difficult for her to adapt to a remote learning environment. And as a result, it was difficult for her students and their parents to adapt as well. She held office hours every day, but students wouldn't follow those times and would ask their questions after hours. So Mrs. P became very overwhelmed very quickly. So like the good daughter I am, I stepped up and developed EduBot. Let's take a look at what it's all about. I took one of my mom's lessons to use as a sample. So the idea here would be that the teachers continue to create their virtual lessons as their usual Bitmoji classrooms, which is basically just an interactive online classroom for students to engage with. This week in math, we are learning to identify and count money. Let's look at the chart. But now, off to the right, we have EduBot, the chatbot who's accessible at any time of day to answer students' questions and test their knowledge with mini quizzes. So I'm going to say that I need help with coins. I can select adding coins and the bot will give me a custom created video by Mrs. P herself, explaining more about how to add money. Hi everyone. Today we're going to learn how to count money and we're gonna start with counting dimes and nickels. Now I could also say I need help identifying coins. And the great thing here is that some of the more involved questions have prompts to make the bot easier to use by young students. So with each coin I ask about, EduBot will give me details about it, as well as a practice question to see if I really do understand the content. I chose to use an elementary level target audience for this project, but this type of bot can be useful at any level of education. High school teachers and university professors who may still be holding remote classes this upcoming school year can use AI to make course resources and information accessible even when they are not. In addition, a great future enhancement for this chatbot would be implementing multi-language support. In elementary school, the parents are always present while their kids completed the online homework. However, my mom had a lot of international families who not only struggled with the technology, but also with the language barrier. So overall, I would say that EduBot was a success, and it's ready to improve the lives of teachers everywhere.